For uscfootball.com, I'm Michelle Phelan reporting from Heritage Hall, where Pete Carroll just had his last team meeting with the players. I caught up with Chris O'Dowd and Devon Kennard to get their reaction. You guys just had your last team meeting with him earlier. How did that go and what did he say? Uh, you know, he just, you know, talked about, you know, sorry, fellas, and everything like that. And, he, uh, you know, he had to make his decision, and he loved us and stuff. And, you know, there's, there's no hard feelings or anything, but now we got to move forward and carry on this Trojan tradition. You know, it went really well. It was really positive. Um, it was pretty much uh, Coach Carroll just kind of explaining the whole situation of what's been happening and just kind of get some light on all, this, uh, <laughs> all these shadows that we've been hearing. Uh, but the rumors are true. You know, he's gone, and, um, you know, it's us as players to respond, and that's what we're, that's what we're going to do. And I can't wait to get a new coach in here so uh, we can, you know, bring him into the Trojan family and, you know, get things done. How do you respond to news like that? Uh, you know, it's tough because, you know, it, it was in the air for the last week and everyone was kind of you know, calling everybody, trying to figure out what's going on. And you know, now it's kind of it's over with. It's, it's been done with. And so now it's, uh, it's time for us to respond and that's what we're going to do. Time for us to just move on. You know, we can't control, uh, you know, his decision. And now it's time for us to get ready for next season and get into off season and work hard so, uh, so we can have a more successful year next season. When did you initially find out? Uh, like everybody else, so, you know, um, on the TV over the weekend, just seeing it, waiting it out and everything. And, you know, now, now you know, it's official and, you know, now it's time for us to move forward. How's the attitude of the team right now? Positive, positive. You know, it's kind of we're just kind of on our toes a little bit trying to figure out, uh, you know, who's coming in here. Uh, but really excited to rally and uh, you know, get around these guys and just uh, start this offseason off right. Now you're a freshman this year. You have a few years ahead of you. Are you disappointed now that Coach Carroll's leaving? Uh, you know, I always thought he would be my head coach, but, you know, uh, I just got to go with it. And now I'm, I'm excited to see who's going to be coaching me the next few years, and I'm ready to go. I want to, you know, prove myself all over again. I work excited for the new coach, and, um, you know, the guy that gets brought in here is going to do the best, uh, his ability, and, you know, we're going to give him everything that we have as a team and players, so uh, just to bring this program back on top. How do you feel that Coach Carroll leaving will affect recruiting? Uh, you know, uh, some of the players are trying to get as many of those guys as we can, trying to keep in contact and let them know because we need those guys. And there's guys who can come in and, you know, uh, start playing right away like some of us did this season. And, uh, you know, as, lo as long as we can keep it going, hopefully uh, we can hold on to as many as we can until, you know, the coaches come back and really establish it all again. You know, it's going to be tough just because these kids expected Coach Carroll here. But, um, you know, if they really uh, – and you know, if they're around us, you know, we're really going to accept them in as uh, you know, Trojans and keep them part of this family and um, just uh, rally back and uh, have a great season. Was he one of your main reasons for coming here in the first place? Um, you know, of, co of course, you know, the winning atmosphere he created here and, you know, how he does things. But, you know, hopefully the next coach can, you know, uh, do it in his own way and we can keep this going. So how would you describe the overall attitude of the team right now? Uh, you know, I think everybody's just kind of anxious to see see what's going to happen from here. Nobody knows who's going to be coaching them position-wise, who's going to be our head coach. So we're anxious to see what's going to happen. And uh, once that comes, I think everything will settle down and we're going to get back to doing what we do.